Are you sitting on a fortune without knowing it? In this video, we uncover the rarest and most valuable Jefferson nickels that are worth millions of dollars. Is it possible that a simple Jefferson nickel could be worth millions? It sounds unbelievable, but a rare 1964 no mint mark Jefferson nickel might just hold the key to a fortune. In today's video, we're diving deep into the history, value, and mystery behind one of the most intriguing coins in U.S. history. If you're passionate about rare coins, collectibles, and discovering hidden treasures, you're in the right place. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on any valuable insights. Now, let's talk about the 1964 Nomad Mark Jefferson Nickel, why it's so special and how it could be worth millions. Let's start with a bit of history. In 1938, the Jefferson Nickel was introduced to replace the Buffalo Nickel. The U.S. Mint produced this five-cent coin with a portrait of President Thomas Jefferson on the front, designed by sculptor Felix Schlag. For years, it was a common coin that everyone used in their everyday transactions. But 1964 was different. That year, the U.S. Mint produced more nickels than ever before, over a billion, to be exact. The demand for coins was high due to a national coin shortage. The Philadelphia and Denver mints were tasked with producing millions of Jefferson nickels, and the coins from Denver had a D-mint mark while those from Philadelphia had no mint mark. At first glance, a 1964 no-mint mark Jefferson nickel might seem like an ordinary coin. After all, Philadelphia typically didn't add a mint mark in those days. But there's more to the story. Here's where things get interesting. In the mid-1960s, the U.S. Mint was under pressure due to a shortage of silver coins, leading to a temporary halt on mint marks for coins struck between 1965 and 1967. However, there are rumors and stories about a rare batch of 1964 Jefferson nickels that never should have existed. These rare 1964 no-mint mark nickels are rumored to be part of an unauthorized production that occurred at the Denver Mint. Instead of having the typical demon mark, these coins mysteriously lack one. Collectors believe these coins may have been struck using leftover dyes from Philadelphia and possibly smuggled out or struck without authorization. The scarcity and mystery around these no mint mark coins have made them incredibly valuable to collectors. Some estimates suggest that if one of these rare coins surfaces and is in pristine condition, it could be worth millions of dollars. In fact, one such nickel is rumored to have been sold for close to $5 million in a private transaction. So, how do you know if you have one of these valuable nickels? Let's break it down. First, you'll want to look at the date, 1964, and check for the absence of the mint mark. Now, while most Philadelphia coins from 1964 won't have a mint mark, the key is to look for unusual features. Condition is everything. Coins that are uncirculated or have full steps, meaning the steps on Monticello are clearly visible and intact, will fetch a higher price. But the true value lies in those rare no-mint mark Denver coins. Even if you don't have the ultra-rare no-mint mark Denver nickel, a regular 1964 Jefferson nickel can still be worth more than face value. High-grade coins, especially those with full steps, can sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars depending on their condition. Certified coins graded by professional organizations like PCGS or NGC can significantly increase in value. For example, a 1964 nickel graded MS67 with full steps has sold for over $30,000 at auction. So, what should you do if you think you have one of these valuable nickels? First, get it authenticated by a professional coin grader. If you're lucky enough to have a no mint mark Denver nickel, you might be sitting on a life-changing amount of money. Thanks for joining me on this treasure hunt into the world of rare coins. Remember, that everyday pocket change could hold the key to a fortune. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you've ever found a rare or valuable coin. Who knows, maybe you're holding a piece of history worth millions. Asterisk. What if I told you that a coin you might have in your pocket right now could be worth more than a fortune? That's right, we're talking about the 1981 P. Jefferson Nickel, a coin that some collectors believe could be hiding some of the rarest varieties worth thousands, or even millions of dollars. But what makes this seemingly common nickel so valuable? Let's dive into its history, unique features, 
and what you should be looking for. Before we jump into why the 1981 P. Jefferson Nickel is gaining attention, let's take a quick trip back in time. The Jefferson Nickel was first introduced in 1938, replacing the Buffalo Nickel. Designed by Felix Schlag, this iconic coin features the profile of Thomas Jefferson on the front and his home, Monticello, on the reverse. By 1981, the U.S. Mint was producing billions of coins annually, and the P-Mint mark represented coins struck at the Philadelphia Mint. However, not all coins from this year are created equal. Some have unique characteristics that make them highly valuable to collectors today. So, what makes a 1981 P. Jefferson nickel potentially worth millions? Let's break it down into three main factors, rarity, condition, and errors. Now, while the 1981 P. nickel may not be considered rare at first glance, since millions were minted, the true value lies in specific varieties and errors. Certain coins from this year may have defects from the minting process, such as doubled dies, miss strikes, or off-center strikes. These mint errors are incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors. Condition is everything in the world of coin collecting. Coins graded as mint state, or MS, are in the best condition possible, having never been circulated. The highest grade, MS 67 or higher, is where things get interesting. Only a handful of 1981 P nickels have achieved such high grades, making them extremely valuable. Coins graded in MS-67 or MS-68 can fetch thousands of dollars at auction, and in the rarest cases, possibly even more. Now, here's where it gets really exciting, errors and varieties. One of the most famous errors to look for is the full steps designation. This means the steps on Monticello on the reverse side of the coin are fully visible and struck perfectly. Finding a 1981 P with full steps, in a high grade, is like hitting the jackpot. While no 1981 P. Jefferson nickel has sold for millions yet, there's always the potential for a once-in-a-lifetime find. In the world of coin collecting, certain rare coins can skyrocket in value due to demand, rarity, or a particularly significant error. The combination of a rare mint error, high-grade condition, and full steps could turn a coin worth a few cents into a life-changing treasure. In fact, some collectors believe that the elusive perfect condition 1981 P. Nickel is still out there, waiting to be discovered. Could it be hiding in your change jar? So, how do you know if you've struck gold? Here's a quick checklist for what to look for in your 1981 P. Jefferson Nickel. Asterisk. Ensure you have a P. Mint mark for Philadelphia. Dot. Look closely at the steps. Are they fully visible? If yes, you might have a rare full steps variety. Use a magnifying glass or microscope to check for doubling or miss strikes. Errors could multiply the value of your coin. If you think you have a valuable coin, send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC to determine its condition and worth. Asterisk. So, what are you waiting for? Go grab that jar of change or check your wallet, because the next time you come across a 1981 P. Jefferson nickel, it could be worth way more than just five cents. You never know, you might be sitting on a hidden fortune. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating coin discoveries. And hey, if you find something interesting, let us know in the comments below. Happy hunting, and may your next nickel be worth millions! Asterisk. Is it possible that a simple 1990 Jefferson nickel could be worth millions of dollars? Well, sit tight because today, we're diving deep into the history, value, and why certain 1990p mint Mark Jefferson nickels have collectors buzzing. The Jefferson nickel has been an important part of American coinage since 1938, honoring Thomas Jefferson. But what makes the 1990p Jefferson nickel so special? Designed by Felix Schlag, the Jefferson nickel has maintained its classic look for decades. In 1990, it was produced in vast numbers at three major U.S. mints, Philadelphia, P, Denver, D, and San Francisco, S. But it's the P mint mark coins, produced at the Philadelphia Mint, that have a story all their own. First, let's talk numbers. The Philadelphia Mint struck over 692 million Jefferson nickels in 1990. With such a high mintage, most people would assume these coins are worth, well, 
only five cents. But what if I told you there's a reason some collectors are paying attention? The standard 1990p Jefferson nickel is common and often only valuable in pristine, uncirculated condition, which can fetch up to $15 or $20. But there's one category of these coins that could be worth a fortune, and that's the 1990 Jefferson nickel era coins. Era coins are a collector's dream. A rare error, like a misstruck coin, an off-center strike, or a coin missing key details, could turn your regular nickel into a jackpot. And the Philadelphia Mint has produced some striking errors over the years. Some known error types include 1. Where the coin was not aligned correctly during minting. 2. Where part of the coin's edge is missing. 3. Where design appears to be struck twice, leading to a doubled image. Each of these errors can raise the value of your 1990p nickel dramatically. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Some coins from this year have mysterious missing mint marks. That's right, certain coins that should have the P mint mark simply don't. A missing mint mark can make a coin exceptionally rare. When a coin like this appears in high-grade condition, it can lead to bidding wars at auctions, driving the price through the roof. In fact, there have been cases where error coins, especially in the Jefferson Nickel series, have sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And while not every 1990 Pierre nickel is worth millions, the potential for a significant payout is definitely there. The value of any coin, including the 1990 P. Jefferson nickel, depends heavily on its condition. Coins that are graded in high mint state, MS condition, particularly MS 65 or higher, are the ones that fetch the most at auction. But when you add a mint error, the value can skyrocket even more. To get the best price, collectors often have their coins graded by professional services like PCGS or NGC. A standard 1990p nickel graded at MS67 could be worth $1,000 or more, but an error coin at the same grade? We could be talking tens of thousands, or even millions, depending on the rarity of the error. So, before you toss that nickel into your piggy bank or use it to buy a soda, check your change. Look for mint errors, high-grade conditions, and any unique features that could make your coin a hidden treasure. Could a simple 1990p Jefferson nickel hiding in your pocket change be worth millions? Maybe. And that's why you should never underestimate the power of small change. Coins like this have made collectors into millionaires. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want more content on rare coins and collectibles, Hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. And don't forget to check your pockets. You could be holding history worth millions. It's time to dive into the fascinating world of the 1987 D Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel and uncover the truth behind this coin's history, rarity, and potential value. Asterisk Asterisk Welcome to the Jefferson Nickel, a staple of American pocket change since 1938. The 1987 D Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel was produced in Denver, hence the D Mint Mark, alongside its counterpart from the Philadelphia Mint, marked with a P. But what makes the 1987 D stand out among the rest? Let's take a step back to the late 1980s. The U.S. Mint in Denver produced millions of these nickels as part of their regular currency run. In fact, over 2.9 billion Jefferson Nickels were minted in 1987 with 655 million of those coming from Denver. So, with such a high mintage number, you might be asking yourself, how could this common coin be worth so much? Asterisk asterisk. As with any coin, the key to unlocking its true value lies in its condition, rarity, and whether any minting errors occurred. Mint errors can skyrocket a coin's value. For example, die cracks, off-center strikes, or even double strikes could make an ordinary 1987 D nickel exceptionally valuable. Collectors and investors alike pay a premium for coins in mint state condition or those with certified errors. Grading is everything in the world of coin collecting. A typical circulated 1987 D nickel may be worth only a few cents, but a pristine, uncirculated nickel, graded MS 65 or higher by professional services like NGC or PCGS, could fetch hundreds even thousands of dollars at auction. If there's an error, the price could soar even higher. So, could one of these 1987 D. Jefferson nickels be worth millions? 
Well, here's where the story takes an interesting turn. While most 1980s 7D nickels are far from million-dollar coins, certain coins have shocked the coin-collecting world by achieving massive sales. Coins like the 1913 Liberty Nickel or the 1943 Bronze Lincoln Cent have sold for millions of dollars, primarily due to their extreme rarity and historical significance. Could a similar fate await the 1987D? It's possible, especially if a rare error or a unique specimen were to be discovered in a high-grade condition. So before you dismiss that old jar of pocket change, take a closer look. You might just have a hidden gem in your hands. Asterisk asterisk. To summarize, while the 1987D mint Mark Jefferson nickel is a common coin in most cases, it could be worth more than you think, especially if you have a high-grade, mint-conditioned coin or one with a unique mint error. In most cases, they sell for a modest price. But who knows? The next big discovery could turn a simple nickel into a million-dollar payday. Asterisk asterisk. Do you have a 1987D Jefferson nickel? Let us know in the comments below if you've checked your change recently. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content on rare coins and collectibles. You never know what treasure might be hiding in plain sight. Asterisk. We're diving deep into the history, value, and mystery behind one of the most intriguing nickels in U.S. history, the 1961 Nomint Mark Jefferson nickel. Could this simple coin be worth millions? Let's find out. The Jefferson nickel, a classic piece of American currency, has been in circulation since 1938. Named after the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, this coin has seen various designs and minting anomalies over the years. But when it comes to the 1961 no mint mark nickel, there's more to it than meets the eye. First, a little history. The Jefferson nickel was designed by Felix Schlag and features Jefferson's portrait on the front, while his famous home, Monticello, is displayed on the reverse. Coins were minted in three primary locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. In 1961, the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia produced millions of Jefferson nickels. However, nickels minted here didn't carry a mint mark, leading to what we now refer to as the no-mint mark Jefferson nickels. So, what's so special about the 1961 No Mint Mark Nickel? For one, 1961 was a relatively high production year, with over 75 million nickels minted in Philadelphia. The absence of a mint mark doesn't make it rare by itself. Philadelphia didn't start using mint marks until 1980. Equals, but hold on. The real allure comes from high-quality, uncirculated versions of these nickels, especially in pristine condition known as MS, mint state, grades. A well-preserved 1961 no-mint mark nickel in MS 65 or higher can fetch significant prices at auction. Let's talk value. The average 1961 nickel that you find in pocket change is likely only worth 5 cents. However, coins that are in excellent, uncirculated condition can be worth much more. Yes, you heard that right! If your 1961 nickel is in top-notch condition, it could be worth thousands. Why? Because collectors are willing to pay big for coins that are rare and such high quality. But what about those rumors that a 1961 no-mint Mark Jefferson nickel could be worth millions? Is that even possible? Well, let's clear that up. The short answer is, not quite. While it's true that some extremely rare coins can sell for millions, the 1961 nickel isn't one of them. However, some extremely rare variants or errors, like an unusual die mis strike, could fetch higher prices. But these are extremely rare cases, and none of these have ever hit the million dollar mark. So, how can you tell if your 1961 nickel is valuable? Here are some tips for collectors look for coins with nowhere, sharp details, and a full strike. The highest grades command the highest prices. Look for any unusual features, such as double dies, off-center strikes, or die cracks. Professional coin grading services can help you determine the condition and potential value of your nickel. And remember, a professionally graded coin with an MS67 or higher is where you'll find the highest values. So, while your 1961 no-mint Mark Jefferson nickel might not make you an instant millionaire, 
it could still hold some impressive value, especially if it's in top condition. Whether you're a serious collector or just someone curious about that old nickel in your pocket, it's always worth checking. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things coin collecting. Who knows, maybe the next coin in your change could be worth a fortune. We're diving into the mystery and excitement of a very special coin, the 1973 No Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. It's a nickel that's making waves in the numismatic world for its history, rarity, and jaw-dropping value. Could you have one of these rare treasures in your pocket change? Stay tuned as we explore why this coin might be worth millions. First, let's go back to the origins of the Jefferson Nickel. Introduced in 1938, the Jefferson Nickel replaced the Buffalo Nickel and features the iconic portrait of President Thomas Jefferson on the obverse side. The reverse showcases Monticello, Jefferson's famous Virginia home. The design remained mostly unchanged for decades except for a few key details that make certain years extremely valuable, and 1973 is one of those special years. Now, what's important to understand about coin collecting is that sometimes the smallest details, like a missing mint mark, can turn a regular coin into a fortune. You may have heard the term mint mark. This is a small letter that tells us where the coin was produced. For Jefferson Nichols, you'll usually see a D4 Denver, an S4 San Francisco, or a P4 Philadelphia. However, in 1973, some nickels were minted in Philadelphia and accidentally released without any mint mark. That's what makes these coins so unique. So if your 1973 nickel doesn't have a mint mark where it normally would, you might just have hit the jackpot. But the story doesn't stop there. So why would a coin missing a tiny letter be worth so much? Here's where things get really interesting. The rarity of these no mint mark nickels combined with a few other factors has caused their value to skyrocket in the collector's market. Mint errors are always sought after, but 1973 no mint mark Jefferson nickels are particularly rare due to limited numbers reaching circulation. In some cases, high grade examples of this coin have been auctioned for staggering prices. And I'm talking about tens of thousands, or even potentially millions of dollars if the right buyer comes along. Now, if you're wondering how to identify a 1973 no mint mark nickel, it's simpler than you think. Grab any nickels you have from 1973, flip them over, and check the reverse side. If you see a small D or S next to Monticello, you've got one from the Denver or San Francisco mint. If there's no mint mark at all, congratulations, you might have something special. But remember, not every no mint mark nickel is automatically worth millions. Factors like the coin's condition, known as grade, can make a huge difference. Coins that are in pristine, uncirculated condition are far more valuable than those that have been in circulation and are worn down. Let's say you think you've found a 1973 no mint mark nickel. What's the next step? The first thing you should do is have it professionally graded by a company like PCGS or NGC. These experts will assign a grade to your coin, which directly impacts its market value. Grading can also confirm that your coin is an authentic no mint mark nickel, as fakes do exist in the coin collecting world. So, if you're serious about cashing in on this coin, getting a certified grade is a must. The million dollar question, literally, is how much could your 1973 no mint mark nickel be worth? Well, high grade examples of this coin have fetched anywhere from thousands of dollars to, in some cases, close to a million at auction. The highest prices are generally reserved for coins in mint state condition with very few imperfections. Of course, not every 1973 no mint mark nickel will reach such high values, but if you find one in excellent condition, the potential is there. So there you have it, the fascinating history, the rarity, and the massive potential value of the 1973 no mint mark Jefferson nickel. This could be the coin that turns pocket change into life-changing money. Have you found one? Drop a comment below and let us know. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible coin stories, valuable tips, and treasure hunting advice. Who knows, your next big find could be just a coin away. 
In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of the 1996 D. Jefferson Nickel. Stay tuned to find out if you're holding on to a small fortune. The Jefferson Nickel has been a staple of U.S. currency since its introduction in 1938, featuring the iconic profile of founding father Thomas Jefferson. But today, we're focusing on a very specific minting, the 1996 Jefferson Nickel produced at the Denver Mint, also known by its D-Mint mark. So what makes the 1996 D. Jefferson Nickel so special? To understand, we need to break down a few key details. Nearly 1 billion of these nickels were minted in Denver that year, a huge number. However, while the majority of these coins are worth their face value of just 5 cents, there are exceptions that could be worth significantly more. Generally, most 1996 D. Jefferson nickels are found in circulated condition, which means they've seen wear and tear from everyday use. In this state, they're typically worth only a few cents more than face value. However, what truly skyrockets the value of these coins is their condition, rarity, and errors. If you're familiar with coin collecting, you know that the condition of a coin is crucial. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70. For example, a circulated nickel might be graded at a 20 or 30, but a pristine, uncirculated 1996 D nickel in mint state, or MS, condition can fetch a much higher value. A top tier graded 1996 D Jefferson nickel in MS 67 condition can sell for hundreds of dollars at auction. But wait, that's not even the best part. Some ultra rare examples that are graded even higher, such as MS 68 or MS 69, have been known to reach thousands of dollars. But here's where things get really interesting error coins. If your 1996 D nickel has a unique minting error, such as an off center strike, a misprint, or doubling, its value could soar even higher. In fact, some rare error nickels have fetched thousands of dollars at auction. Alright, so you might be wondering, could your 1996 D. Jefferson nickel actually be worth millions? While it's highly unlikely to find a million-dollar 1996 D. nickel, especially from a common circulation batch, coins with significant errors or those in flawless, mint-state condition could make you a lot of money. On the right side of Monticello on the reverse. Is it shiny, free of scratches, and in near-perfect condition? The closer to mint state it is, the more valuable. Pay close attention to any oddities, like misprints or off-center strikes. These can make a huge difference in the coin's worth. In auctions, some high-quality 1996 D. Jefferson nickels have sold for upwards of $5,000 or more, especially if they feature unique errors or are in perfect condition. While it's not common, the right coin could turn a collector's dream into reality. Now the big question is, could you have one of these rare and valuable nickels sitting in your pocket right now? Check your change, inspect your coins, and who knows, you could be holding a treasure worth hundreds, or even thousands, of dollars. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more coin collecting tips, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think you have a valuable 1996 D. Jefferson nickel? Let us know, and happy collecting! We're diving into the world of rare and valuable coins specifically the 1982 D. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. Could this simple five-cent piece hiding in your change be worth millions of dollars? Stick around to find out. The Jefferson nickel was first introduced in 1938, replacing the Buffalo nickel. Designed by Felix Schlag, it prominently features the bust of Thomas Jefferson, the third U.S. president, and on the reverse side, his iconic home, Monticello. But today, we're not talking about just any Jefferson nickel. We're zooming in on the elusive and intriguing 1982 D. Jefferson nickel, asterisk the one that could potentially be worth a fortune, asterisk. Now, why is 1982 such an important year for the Jefferson nickel? First, let's talk about the Denver Mint, represented by the D. Mint mark. In 1982, the U.S. Mint was undergoing changes in coin production methods and materials, which impacted many coins' quality and appearance. The result? Many 1982 D. Jefferson nickels left the mint with unique imperfections, striking errors, and variations that have collectors on the hunt. So, what makes a 1982 D. Jefferson nickel stand out from the rest? 
one word, asterisk errors asterisk. Due to the mint's operational changes, 1982 D nickels are known to have errors such as off-center strikes, weak strikes, die cracks, and even full-on double dies. These errors make the 1982 D nickel potentially rare, and in the world of coin collecting, rarity equals value. And it's not just about the errors. Many of these nickels were circulated heavily, making mint condition specimens incredibly rare. High grade, uncirculated examples of the 1982 D nickel have been fetching thousands of dollars at auctions. Here's the million dollar question literally, could a 1982 D Jefferson nickel really be worth millions? While not all of them are, some nickels from this year in pristine condition have been sold for tens of thousands of dollars and the key lies in getting your coin professionally graded. Coins rated as mint state, MS, 65 or higher by grading services like PCGS or NGC can attract serious bids at auction. In fact, a rare 1982 D. Jefferson nickel sold for over $10,000 in recent years, all thanks to its flawless condition and striking error. Who knows, the next million-dollar find could be sitting in your piggy bank right now. So, how do you know if you've struck gold, air, nickel? Here's what to do if you have a 1982 D. Jefferson nickel in hand. 1. Look for the D below Monticello on the reverse side. Point 2. Use a magnifying glass to spot any die cracks, off-center strikes, or doubling. Point 3. Dot. The better the condition, the more it's worth. Look for sharp details, minimal wear, and no scratches. Point 4. If you think your coin is valuable, Send it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC to get an official grade. Do you have a 1982 D nickel you think is valuable? Let us know in the comments below if you find any rare errors. Who knows, you could be holding a fortune in your hands. So, there you have it. The story of the 1982 D Jefferson nickel and why it might be worth a lot more than its face value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, Checking your coins could be the start of an exciting treasure hunt. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest coin collecting tips and treasures. Who knows what hidden gems we'll uncover next. We're diving into a fascinating piece of American numismatic history, the 1981 D. Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. This little coin might look ordinary, but it has a story that could be worth millions. Let's get into it. The Jefferson nickel was first minted in 1938, honoring the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. But today, we're focusing on a specific year, 1981. In 1981, the U.S. Mint produced two varieties of the Jefferson nickel, one with a D-Mint mark from the Denver Mint and one with a P-Mint mark from the Philadelphia Mint. But what sets the 1981 D apart? During the early 80s, coin production faced various challenges, including economic changes and shifting minting techniques. The 1981 D nickel was part of this tumultuous time, which makes its history even more intriguing. Interestingly, some of these nickels were accidentally produced with a unique error, a misaligned die. This gives them a distinct look that collectors are eager to find. Collectors pay a premium for these error coins. While a typical 1981 D nickel might only be worth a few cents, one with a significant error can fetch prices in the thousands. At coin shows across the country, you'll find enthusiasts searching for these hidden gems. But how can you tell if your 1981 D nickel is valuable? Here are some tips. 1. That's your key identifier. 2. Dot, misalignment, doubling, or any unusual features can increase the value. 3. Coins in better condition are always worth more. So, what's the bottom line? While most 1981 D nickels are worth face value, those with errors can be worth hundreds, even thousands of dollars, depending on the specifics. One particularly rare 1981 D nickel sold for over $10,000 at auction. Imagine finding that in your pocket change. To wrap it up, the 1981 D mint Mark Jefferson nickel isn't just another coin. It's a piece of history with the potential for great value. Always keep an eye out when you're checking your change. We're diving deep into a fascinating piece of American numismatic history, the 1986 D. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. 
you won't believe how this humble coin is worth millions. So, let's get started. First, let's take a look at the history of the Jefferson nickel. Introduced in 1938, this coin was designed by Felix Schlag to honor Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. It features Jefferson's profile on the front and Monticello, his famous estate, on the reverse. Now, fast forward to 1986. The U.S. Mint produced millions of these nickels, but one particular mint mark is what collectors are after, the D-Mint mark, which indicates it was minted in Denver. So, what makes the 1986 D. Jefferson nickel so special? While many of these coins are relatively common, there's a rare variety that has captured the attention of collectors, the 1986 D with a double die obverse. This means that the die used to strike the coin had a slight misalignment, creating a double image of Jefferson's profile. This unique flaw is incredibly rare, with only a handful of coins known to exist. This is why collectors are willing to pay top dollar for it. So, how much is this coin worth? A standard 1980 nickel is worth its face value, just 5 cents. However, the rare double die versions can sell for anywhere from a few thousand dollars to a staggering million dollars or more, depending on its condition and market demand. At auction, we've seen these nickels fetch incredible prices, with some even going for upwards of $1.5 million. It's mind-blowing how a simple nickel can turn into such a valuable treasure. So, how can you identify if you have one of these rare coins? Here are a few tips. 1. Examine Jefferson's portrait closely. You'll notice a shadow effect on the hair and a slight doubling of the lettering. 2. Coins in mint condition are far more valuable. Look for any scratches or wear. 3. Asterisk if you suspect you have a rare one consider having it graded by a professional numismatist. So, there you have it. The 1986 mint Mark Jefferson Nickel, a coin with a rich history and the potential to be worth millions. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing content on rare coins and collectibles. And remember, you might just have a fortune hiding in your pocket. Until next time, happy collecting!